Hi you guys, my name is Karin and today I'm going to show you how I spray painted all of my kitchen appliances. So for starters, all of our kitchen appliances are very old in our kitchen. We just bought this house and they all work wonderfully. So I don't want to replace them if I don't have to shell out all that extra money. But I do want to try to spruce them up and make them just more aesthetic, more fun. I'm in the process of painting my kitchen cabinets green as well, so I just want these appliances to kind of look nice next to the nice new cabinets. So the first thing I did is I taped up the middle part of my dishwasher because I am going to paint this a different color than the top and the bottom part. So here I am just covering all of my cabinets, all of the floor because I am using spray paint and this will ruin everything it touches. So please make sure you really tape everything up. I'm just using Frog's Tape, which you can buy at Home Depot. It's this green roll. And then I bought the painter's um, tarp to put down at the bottom and I just taped around everything really well. So like I said, I'm just taping up the top and the bottom and the spray paint I'm using for this plastic part on the top and the bottom is the bare spray paint in the color Hopeful Dream. So it's like almost a lavendery color. And honestly, when I bought this color, I thought it was a lot more blue than it turned out to be, but it's still a very beautiful color. And like I said, the reason I was able to use regular spray paint is because I do have plastic appliances. So I was able to kind of sand them and prep the area correctly if you have stainless steel i'm not really sure how this would turn out just because i haven't personally done it i'm sure it could be done if you primed the area and then painted it but be sure all the areas you're using regular spray paint on um, that it doesn't get super hot because i am using a high temperature spray paint for that middle part that i have covered up right now because that part is like a glassy part and i don't want it to get too hot and for the spray paint to like melt or be damaged or start chipping and that's really all you need as far as supply goes just something to cover all of your cabinets tape and the spray paint um, and then some sandpaper if your appliances are plastic so you can kind of sand them down and prepare the area um, but here i am really diligently taping everything up you're also going to want to make sure that you really tape some of the inside areas of your dishwasher as well because i kind of did spray paint this and kind of open and close it as i was spray painting to really get those like inside edge areas so i just protected like that inside plastic part with some tape and I went right in. I was so scared. I mean, I was looking at my cabinets like, am I sure that they're all covered? Because I did not want to get the spray paint all over my new cabinets. Um, but here I am. Go in very light with your first coat. I did go a little heavy on my first coat and had some drips that I had to let it dry and go back and sand over. Um, but go in very light with your first coat be patient you have to do many layers of this for it to turn out looking nice um, but it went on really smooth like it adhered great i could tell it was going on very smooth and i was getting really excited because i was like this is gonna change everything if all i have to do is spray paint these like that makes the biggest difference um so right away like as i was doing this I, I mean, obviously here I am freaking out, but I was like, I don't know, this color is really purple. I thought it was more blue, but I just went with it because I'm like, you know what? If I hate it, I can paint it over a different color which is actually what I ended up doing later in the video, but I'm just gonna show you guys the whole process of how I did this. So after I did the first coat of the dishwasher, I was like, I have to do the microwave. Um, and I'm about to paint my microwave. I'm really worried about this one. I've never done this before, but I've done a lot of research. Um, Let's see if I ruin my appliances or not. I figured at this point I don't have much to lose. Like my appliances are just white and plastic. And the worst thing that happens as they make white appliance paint, I can just spray paint it back. I found that painting can feel so terrifying because it really does feel so final. But you just have to remind yourself that you can always paint stuff back. If you hate it, white paint exists. You can always get it back to the original. So that's what I kept telling myself as I was freaking out here. Um, but again, I did the same thing just with the frog tape and the painter's tarp. I just taped everything up really well. Um, so that way when I spray painted it wouldn't get on any of my cabinets or anything like that I'm just here to tell you that you guys can do this I had never done this before this was my first time and it turned out amazing and I am by no means like a professional with spray paint I would make sure that you've like done a couple Tests like sprays before you just go right in if you've never used spray paint before But i've used spray paint a few times I, i'm not a pro by any means and I was able to do this. This was very easy and honestly, the hardest part was taping everything up. Like, look how complicated the paint job is. You have to go in that area where you can look through in at the food and the buttons. 
make sure you do not paint over those go over those all with tape really thoroughly so that way once the the paint has totally dried you can take it off i do recommend waiting till the appliances have dried fully before you take off the tape so that you don't mess anything up um, I do also recommend wearing a mask because the spray paint fumes in my kitchen were a lot. So make sure you do this with all your windows open. Turn on the fan because there's no way to take these outside. You kind of just have to do it inside and deal with the fumes. So definitely wear a mask. And make sure maybe no one else is with you in your house the day you do this. Because it did smell like this for like two hours after I had done it and then the fumes started to go away and I know there are people out there who are going to be like why don't you just buy new appliances appliances that are colorful and like these nice beautiful colors I was going for are thousands of dollars they're very expensive and I'm trying not to spend a lot of money on this kitchen renovation here's me having like an oh my gosh what am I doing moment I'm spray painting my microwave and before I did this I had never seen anyone spray paint their microwave I think because it just feels wrong like, it feels like something you should never do, right? Like, oh, that would be stupid to do it. But the more I was thinking, I'm like, spray paint is like any other paint. It's just in a can. So it goes on very smoothly. And the reason I think a lot of people don't do this is because it does, like, you're doing this inside. Spray paint is very much like an outdoor thing. Um, but it's very possible. It's very doable. And as I'm doing this voiceover, I have had these appliances painted for multiple days. I've been using them and I've had no issues. I've had no chipping. Um, a lot of these areas painted are not high heat areas. So I really have had no issues. Here's after I had done the first coat and I'd started the second coat. I did run into some issues where I accidentally rubbed up against the microwave and smudged the paint. But all you have to do is let it dry fully. Then you can go in and sand those areas down and then just put another coat over it. Super simple. So if you do notice like, oh no, I have a drip, don't touch it. Let the drip dry. Wait for it to totally dry, which might take a few hours. And then go over it and sand it and then do another coat. And it looks good as new. Like it looks great. So if you're not a spray painting expert like like me, this might happen to you. Um, and this was just a really easy fix because I was panicked at first and this turned out just amazing. So here I am kind of just going in with my last coat over those sanded areas and it looked good as new. Um, and then I was able to start taking the tape off. Oh, wait, I'm not taking the tape off yet. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, okay, I took the tape off on the dishwasher. All the buttons worked. Now, if you're concerned about all the settings and not being able to see them, take a photo before you paint. You can always use like Cricut vinyl and make your own little settings, but my dishwasher has like two settings, so I'm not even worried about knowing what's what because I, I just memorized what was what. It was not a big deal. And then after I had done the microwave, I went ahead and painted my oven knobs as well because I was like, why not? These can be replaced easily. And also these usually do pop off, but I just taped around them because I did have to tape around around the handle to paint that because my handle does not come off so that's why i'm doing this here i know they pop off but this was just easier because i had to tape around the oven handle and i'm not really showing it here but i did go over all of these areas with like a light coat of sandpapers just so the paint adheres a bit better and the paint i bought does have primer in it um so there it is all taped up there's the handle that i was talking about all taped up this is right before i painted everything and then i went in with that same color i think i used about a little under two cans for this whole project just because i did lots of coats i really use like one can and a little bit of the other can so definitely buy two if you're doing about the same surface area as i did but here's how it looked after it had dried with like the third coat um and then here i am taking off all the paint if you do have any areas where you're like oh no some of the paint got on it um i just use a little q-tip and i really scrubbed it off and it came off just fine and here i am going in with the high temperature spray paint i only used high temperature spray paint for this glassy middle part because it does get the hottest out of all of my dishwasher parts so here i am just going in with this bright white to kind of update this cream color it just makes it light and fresh it did go on very spotty with the first coat but after several coats that did go away and it turned out looking very nice here i am kind of opening and closing it as i was painting it and here is the last coat of me putting it on i was really excited um, and then I let that dry, and once it was fully dry, I waited several hours. I took off the top part because I did tape around that purple part. I had just spray painted so it wouldn't get any of the white on it. 
and look how good it looks guys i was i was like amazed that it looks so good and i did forget to say or show it but before i untaped everything once all of the spray paint had dried i did spray paint over it with a um sealant so it's like a clear coat spray paint you can buy that at home depot they have it in a glossy finish or a satin i did the satin finish so it wasn't as shiny and then i just took some spray paint i spray painted it in a paper plate and used a paintbrush to just touch up some areas that weren't perfect this worked great um, but keep in mind it will ruin your paintbrush and it dries very fast so you just kind of have to act fast cleaning up those areas but look how pretty the dishwasher is this is a night and day difference it looks so much better and just so much more updated so at this point i was really excited but i was also like oh no the color is kind of like reminding me of buzz lightyear like not in a good way so i was excited because i was like this is possible it worked it looks great um but i hated the color um so what i ended up doing is i did go back to the store and i know you guys are like you did all that work are you kidding me why did you go through with it I needed to know if it would work and I needed to know if I could do it. So I went to the spray paint store and I got the spray paint store. I went to Home Depot um, and I got yellow and blue because I was like, I don't know which one I will like better. And I re taped everything up and I know you guys are like, just leave it as is. Trust me, it is worth it to have the color you want. It is worth it to put in more work. And I did this project all in one day. So like it didn't take me very long. Um, but here I am like retaping everything being like why did I take all the tape off and I went in with yellow and I hated the yellow I mean it was terrible it reminded me of corn this was only after like a very light layer it reminded me of corn and then I was also getting like John Deere vibes and I was like this no so I went in with the blue and here is the dishwasher after I retaped the dishwasher and this is me being like why can't I just be happy with what I have but I went in with the blue and it immediately, I was like, it was so much softer. It just complemented the green instead of taking away from it. I feel like the purple is just like all you can focus on when you look at the appliances. But this blue just like softened it up. It just complements the green so well. And this is only after like the first coat. I know that it looks like such a subtle difference, but it really was huge in the grand scheme of things when you see the end result. Here is after several coats on the dishwasher. Like I just, I don't know if you guys can see the difference like I can, but it made a huge difference to me to have this different color. And here is the microwave after several coats. It is just the prettiest like pastel baby blue. And wait, do you see like the cabinets on and everything? Now I did run into another smudge situation. Same thing, I let it dry and I sanded it down and it worked out perfect. So just be careful and don't be like me and accidentally brush up against the spray paint while it's drying. Um, but if you do, just sand it down and you look at it. Look how pretty it is with the green. And here's the cabinets all up as well. It just looks so good. This was such a cheap way to make my appliances just feel new to me, even though they're still old, I know. It just feels so much happier and it feels new and it was so cheap. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is after, after several days of use and I have not had any issues at all. Um, I've never felt the spray paint get hot because like I said, we mostly painted areas that weren't very high heat and we did use high heat paint on the high heat areas. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys give this a try um, and don't be scared of doing something different. Don't be scared of stepping out of your comfort zone because more often than not, it is always worth it. I mean, look how beautiful. So if you do do this, um, tag me, show me. I want to see. Um, you guys can follow me on TikTok as well. I did this whole renovation of this kitchen and the cabinets over there as well. But thanks so much for following along and I hope this inspires you.